Hi everyone. Today I'll explain the isometric projection of a combination of solid consisting of a frustum of a cone of base diameter 50 mm, top diameter 25 mm and height 50 mm which is resting centrally on a cylindrical slab of diameter 100 mm and thickness 30 mm. Let us start with the construction of base uh, cylindrical slab. So to draw the cylindrical slab of 100 mm diameter, you, you can take the line tool uh, using normal line, you can draw 100 mm at an angle of 30 degree, then 100 mm at an angle of 150 degree, then 100 at an angle of 210 degree or minus 150 degree and then close it. Draw two diagonals so if you have to construct an ellipse here so from here you can connect to the center here again from here center of this side then using the arc by center point this point is center uh, arc radius is equal to this draw an arc till it meets here and again this point is center intersection you should pick and uh, this as a radius draw another arc till it meets the midpoint of this line and again this point is center you can approach from the top and uh, pick the midpoint or end of this arc so you coming from top you can draw up to the midpoint or end of this arc then this is center approaching from down you can pick the end of the arc till the midpoint or end of the arc so this gives the um, base part of the cylinder now you can move a copy of this holding the control key you can move a copy of this and uh, keep a copy of this okay you can use this for uh, construction of frustum of a cone now I also select this move it by a uh, step distance of uh, 30 mm which is the height of the slab so you can use the move command from this point as a reference you have to move it by giving a step distance so here you can give the step distance so for that you can use a tab key twice there you can feed the step distance 30 press enter key then vertically move up you get a step of 30 switch on this and then move up when you get a step you can click now terminate the command by right click and then you can join the tangent to this ellipsis so mouse a pointer shows a point on element you can click and just draw a, till you get the uh, this intersection or the when you get the end of this arc you can click and again from here from the end of this arc up to the end of this arc so this will give the cylindrical slab you can keep this aside now let us move this inside I'll move this inside and uh, I'll scale down this because uh, our uh, Frustum of a cone is having a base diameter of uh, uh, 50 mm. This is 100 mm corresponding to 100 mm diameter. So you have to scale down this to half or 50 by 100. From 100 you have to reduce to 50. So scale factor is 50 by 100 or uh, 0.5. You can directly type 50 by 100. So after selecting this go for scale tool give the scale factor as 50 by 100 or 0.5 you can directly type 50 by 100 and uh, place it uh, uh, any reference point you can even keep on the bottom point as a reference so you uh, scale down this to 50 percent now also this you have to move a copy of this to the top and there uh, the top diameter is 25 so you can use the move command it's already selected use the move command with this switched on you move it by a step distance of uh, 50 
from this corner you can move or from the center you can move anyway it is uh, step distance should be 50 from the end you can take okay use a step distance of 50 mm because 50 is the height you can use 50 mm so it will come to the corner in this case because it is 50 is the diameter and 50 is the height so you can uh, move it vertically up then right click and terminate the command now you have to scale down this use the scale factor because top diameter is 25 you can use the scale factor of 0.5 or 25 by 50 25 by 50 or you can type directly 0.5 so uh, give a scale factor 0.5 but in this case you have to pick the uh, reference point exactly at the center of this ellipse so you get the midpoint there you can click so there you should give the reference point now you have to draw the tangents for before drawing the tangent you can zoom this and then uh, using the line tool you can come to the uh, this part of the curve when you get the point on element simple not from this point now for a cylinder you can pick end of the arc but in this case uh, you should not pick this point you are moving this part upper part of this curve from there when you get the point on element simple you can click and then here you should get the point on element and tangent symbol point on element and tangent symbol you can click so that will give the tangent now you can terminate the command by right click then again from here uh, you can see the alignment indicator so in this case it's easy you have to only check for point on element and alignment indicator and then uh, you can uh, here again you get a tangent and point on element so you can click. now right click and terminate so you have already uh, drawn both the parts now you can select this and you can uh, make it a rigid set okay so you made it a rigid set by accepting this now you can use the connect command to connect the center of the base to the center of the uh, center of the top face of the cylinder so after connecting this let us uh, select this and uh, position at the center let us position at the center and now you have to show the visible and uh, hidden lines so uh, zoom this now some part of the arc has to be split so you can use the split command for this uh, select this arc and uh, split the end of this uh, line so arc is split at the end of this line so this part of the arc which is not visible you can keep it as such and this part of the arc can be darkened so similarly this arc you can split at the end of this line okay and uh, uh, this arc uh, part of the arc is not visible so here you have to select this arc split at this in intersection and here again you have to select this part of the arc uh, split at the intersection now uh, this uh, frustum of a cone base arc you can select the base arc let us zoom that area now the base this arc uh, you have to split at the end of this line again this part of the arc is not visible so this arc you can select and split at the end of this line okay now you have to show the visible parts this part of the arc is visible holding the control key you can select the multiple entities so this you can select this part of the line tangent line is visible so that should be uh, made by visible line now you can select the other line select all visible lines you can hold down the control key and then select it now 
make those lines visible and also the top face you should select the arcs complete ellipse is visible so you can select all that so that is visible now this part of the arc is not visible and again this part of the arc not visible so you can keep the construction lines as such and uh, this is a isometric view of the combination of solid now you have to select this whole thing has to be scaled down by a factor 0.816 so you can use the scale factor 0.816 to scale down the drawing now give a reference point and scale down and this will give the isometric projection of the combination of solid so that's all for today Thank you for watching.